Are you sick and tired of stuff like that happening on your camping trips? Trust me, we've been there. But along the way, we've picked up a couple tips and tricks to keep our camp kitchen organized, and we're gonna share those with you. One of the most important things that you gotta make sure to do for every camping trip beforehand is make a list. Making a list is one of the best ways to make sure you don't forget any of your essential ingredients. Plus, you should also remember to look at the list, because if you make the list and you don't check it twice, it's not gonna help you. I forgot my French press this morning. So, no coffee. It's <laughs> gonna be a sad camping trip. Another easy way to make your trip a little less stressful and a little more organized is to plan your meals according to how long the food you brought is gonna keep. So if you brought sushi or sashimi, make sure you eat it on the first night. And then save your dry pasta for the last night. Even with a really nice cooler like this Yeti here, food doesn't last as long when it's just sitting on ice in a hot campground or out in the backcountry, wherever you might be. So definitely think about that when planning out your meals. Another camp kitchen practice that we highly encourage you to follow is try to be as environmentally friendly as possible. One of the best ways to do this is to make sure to not use single-use items on your camping trip. For example, bringing paper plates and plastic utensils creates a lot of unnecessary waste. It's much better to have a set of bowls, plates, or whatever that you dedicate to your camping trips. Plus, whenever you're trying to take off quickly, they're already packed and ready to go. Yeah, and when you're using these reusable plates and utensils, you can always use a biodegradable soap to wash it. You don't want to just use normal kitchen soap or else it'll be pretty bad for the environment. Generally, whenever you're camping or exploring the outdoors, always try to minimize your impact by reducing waste and leaving a place that you're visiting better than you found it. For more detailed information on how you can minimize your impact, check out the Leave No Trace principles. Um, we always adhere to these when we go camping and we think you should too. Yeah, we've got them linked below, so check them out. Another aspect of the camp kitchen that's often overlooked is keeping your cooler organized. And it all starts with the ice. You always want to pack your ice at the bottom of the cooler and then work your way up, putting softer items like your produce towards the top and then keeping frozen items towards the bottom. Yeah, and you want to make sure anything that you don't want to freeze is far enough away from the ice or else you might end up with frozen eggs and grapes like me. Another good cooler trick is to use reusable ice packs so you don't have leaky melted water everywhere. An alternative to that is to just fill up an old milk jug or water bottle with water a couple days before you leave, freeze it, and throw it in there. And then you get the added bonus of cold, fresh drinking water at the end of your trip. You always want to keep your ice at the bottom of the cooler in order to keep everything cold. <laughs> yep. That's why I eat with the ice. The last thing that we think is definitely the most important to keeping your camping trip running smoothly is using storage bins. Storage bins aren't the most exciting thing ever, but they sure are helpful. In this bin over here, we have all of our kind of smaller items, salt, pepper, Nomad koozie, coffee mugs, bowls, uh, utensils, some spatulas, uh, sponge for our dishes, everything like that. And over here, we got a larger bin, and this is for our larger items, like pens, pots, cutting boards, knives, paper towels, even like larger water bottles. Yeah. Storage bins are super great too because you can have all your gear ready to go at a moment's notice and it just makes getting away on a weekend that much easier if you know your camp kitchen setup's already dialed and stowed properly. Yeah, just grab and go. Now that we've got our camp kitchen set up and organized, let's get to cooking.
Academy, like washing the bowl.